There have been several improvements with meshing in 2011. Let's have a go at meshing this fairly complex assembly. The first change with meshing is that by default it now uses the uh, curvature based mesh that was introduced a couple of releases ago. You'll generally find that a more robust mesher, particularly for complex geometry like we have here. But in order to show the new functionality I need to get this one to fail, so I'm going to choose the old standard mesh. We can see that it failed to mesh one of the parts, the knuckle, but it's going to carry on and try and mesh the other 19 components in this assembly now. Now that it's finished, because one of them failed, we get the opportunity to go into the mesh failure diagnostics. That will show us which areas of the model it is that it's struggled to mesh, which we can highlight through in the model window. It's also suggesting some solutions. We could choose to use an incompatible mesh. This can solve problems where faces overlap, creating uh, awkward geometry to mesh. There may be problems with the geometry, like um, knife edges or uh, very small edges or faces on the model. Clicking on the mesh control option there brings up the uh, mesh control dialog where we can choose the uh, part that has failed and say OK. Having done that you'll now notice that it's just meshing the fail components because it's already successfully meshed the other 19 we don't need to do those again saving us a lot of time in remeshing the whole assembly.